Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my video. Today we'll be taking a look at this battery pack out of a rad bike, uh, e-bike. The complaint with this battery is that it won't charge. Uh, as you can see here, when we go to plug it in, got the charger plugged in. Uh, both lights stay on, indicating that it is not charging. If it was, just the red light would be on. So we know this thing is not charging. Uh, when I asked her what happened, she said she was riding it one night and it was dark and she stopped somewhere and then when she went to come and put the key back in, she accidentally put it on the charging port side. <laughs> she couldn't see and then it sparked and then there was some smoke and blah 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 and now it won't charge so that's why we're looking at it now. I have a feeling she blew a fuse on the back side of this if you flip the battery over. There are two fuses, a 40 amp and a 5 amp and I have a feeling that she blew the 5 amp fuse. So in this video we're just going to show you how to pull out that 5 amp fuse and replace it if something similar happened to you where you accidentally did that or whatever else would have caused that fuse to blow or if you just want to check them see see why your battery is not charging so without further ado let's jump into it the tools required for this job are pretty simple you'll just need a pick or a small screwdriver to pull the fuse cover out and once that covers off you'll need a pair of pliers to grab the fuse and yank it out of there and after the fuse is out, of course, you'll need a new 5 amp fuse to replace it with. Uh, you want to make sure you get the ATC style fuses. Uh, there's a few uh, styles of these uh, blade type fuses. There's a little mini type and then there's this normal type. You want to make sure it's the bigger type. It's called ATC. It should be on the package when you go to buy some. And that's it. Those are the only three things you'll need. So now let's jump into it. All right, so let's get the cover off for the 5 amp fuse. So this, for this, you'll need your pick or your small screwdriver just to get a, underneath this cover. So I like to go up in this corner here and then you can kind of feel it go underneath it and then just gently pull up and then this cover will pop off just like that. Once that covers off, we now have access to the fuse here. So you can see the fuse down in there. You'll need your uh, pair of pliers to get into there and pull it out. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Just want to get a good grip on it. It's kind of a tight space to fit any tool in there. But if you can get a good grip on it, pull up gently. Fuse will pop out just like that. Oh yeah, this, this fuse is gone. <clears throat> I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but that fuse is obliterated. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that's what blew up when she uh, accidentally did that. So... No problem, we'll pop a new one in there. So now we're gonna need uh, our new five amp fuse. These are the ones I got, I got them from uh, AutoZone. The ATC style is the one this one takes. The ATC is the bigger style uh, blade type fuse, not the mini one. There's a mini type and then there's the big normal uh, common type like this, it's called the ATC. So make sure you get the right size, not the mini ones because the mini ones I don't believe will fit in here. So I got my new fuse here, it looks much better. We're just going to pop it in. You want to align the blades of the fuse with the two uh, sockets right there. And then you'll feel it kind of just press into place. I'm going to try and align it the best I can. Doesn't feel like it's aligned just yet. You'll know when it's lined up. I think it needs to. You can use your screwdriver or pick to help line it up. There. There we go, just went right in, lined up. And after that is uh, installed, you can put the cover back on. Let's firmly press that back on so it doesn't pop out. And now we're ready to test it. So we'll plug the charger back into it and see if it starts to charge. All right, we got the fuse replaced, battery's flipped back over. We go ahead and plug the charger in. We're gonna see what happens here. Oh, there we go. Both lights are red, so that means it's charging. And uh, I think it's ready to rock and roll now. Easy fix. Uh, this is just a quick video. If this happened to you or you accidentally did the, put the key in there and you saw a spark or something else caused a short and that, bat and that fuse blew, just a quick video showing you how to replace that fuse. It's a pretty uh, easy process. So uh, uh, just need uh, new fuses and a couple tools and then you'll be good to go. Fix it yourself, it's not too hard. I think that'll be it for this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please be sure to let me know, and thank you for watching.